My name is Laura al Tantawi. I'm a British Egyptian photographer. I was five months old. My parents left the UK and they came back to Cairo. And I was here up until I was about 11 or 12. I took one class in photography and I absolutely fell in love with it. And then I came back to Egypt in 2005. And I think having that mix of like having one foot in the door here and one foot elsewhere has given me sort of a sense of clarity, enough distance, but also clarity that when I come back, certain things interest me because I'm not used to them. My work is highly impressionistic. I mean, I'm not really concerned with things being very obvious in an image. For me, it's more important that an image makes somebody feel something because it's a feeling that I had when I was photographing. I photograph things that I've lived, experiences that I've lived or things that I understand. So I did go out and cover protests in Wust al Balad where people were being extremely vocal. And I think for me at the time, the fact that I'd lived away for nine years and coming back to that, it was a bit of a cultural shock. I was like, wow, I mean, these people are so brave. I never felt that I was photographing news. I felt like I was photographing the story of my generation. But my narrative was always a very personal narrative. You know, I was photographing people fighting for a sense of dignity and respect. I used the camera as a tool to get to know the streets and the people and reconnect. I think Cairo Photo Week is an extremely exciting initiative. I mean, just seeing the energy and the momentum that it's created um, around the world of photography and bringing all of these different voices. People are walking outside and they're kind of looking at the images. I think it begins to make people contemplate what images are and seeing them hanging in this way and gives them a certain value of respect. Downtown is still like the heart and soul of things. And if you want to experience Cairo, people come to downtown, they don't go to other areas. So I think it holds that true soul of what Cairo actually is, the Cairo that you read about. Mm -hmm.